everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the single crochet thermal stitch. Now it is quite uh, a unique stitch. As you can see here, it is actually double thick. So it is quite dense, but at the same time, I find the fabric has quite a bit of stretch to it. It's called the thermal stitch because of it being double thick, uh, and the thickness is created by working uh, in the front and the back loops of the stitches as I'm going to demonstrate. So you can see it's a very thick fabric. It is essentially single crochet stitches and uh, I think it would be beautiful in a blanket where I know there are some washcloth patterns hanging around there. So we are going to learn how to crochet this stitch together. I'm going to be using a six millimeter crochet hook along with a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations. I'll provide links in the notes for this video uh, regarding both of these items. So thank you so much for joining me and while you're here I invite you to subscribe. Why don't uh, we grab our hooks and our yarn and we will crochet the single crochet thermal stitch together. So for our thermal stitch it is as I mentioned worked uh, the single crochet one at using single crochet stitches. So for your foundation chain, you're simply going to chain for the number of stitches you would like and then chain one more for the foundation chain. So today I'm simply going to chain 21. There's 10. Twenty and one more. Now uh, you might be asking yourself, so this is a single crochet, can I also do this with a double crochet? And yes you can. Uh, stay tuned and next week I will have that video tutorial up for you on Sunday morning. So now for our single crochet thermal stitch, as I mentioned it is double thick. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working uh, through our back loops of our stitches and we're going to start that right off from the get-go uh, here in our foundation chain and this is going to get us set up for the rest of, um, of the piece that we're going to work. So what you're going to do just as you would normally for a single crochet stitch you're going to work in that second chain from your hook. Now normally when I crochet, I usually crochet into that back bump, but this time we want to start by working into the back loop only of our stitches. So you're actually going to look at the top of your chain and you'll have these beautiful V's here. This is my first chain stitch here and this is my second. And you can see there are two horizontal bars that form your V. That bar that is the farthest away from you, that is your back loop. So that's the one we're going to be working in. So into the second chain from your hook, into that back loop only, you're going to work a single crochet stitch. And you're going to do that all the way across. So continue working in that back loop only single crochet all the way across. So then you, as you come to your final chain you're going to work in that back loop of the final chain and you're going to have something that looks like this. So these are, this is our chain, foundation chain down here below and then we have our first row of single crochet stitches worked into that back loop only. You're then going to chain one and instead 
you're gonna, I guess, kind of turn <laughs> your work. This first stitch, it's kind of easier to leave your work facing uh, in the same direction, but you can turn it if you like, or I kind of like to turn it on the vertical like this, um, just to make it a little bit easier to work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue working in our back loops, but we're going to start working in the back loop of the stitch that we just worked and the remaining loop of the stitch one row below. So in our foundation chain, I'll use my hook to point it out, we have this lowly horizontal bar right here and you have the horizontal bar which would be the back loop when you turn your work. So the back loop of the stitch that you just worked. You're not going to work into your turning chain. What you're going to do is you're going to take your hook and you're going to insert your hook through that back loop of the last single crochet stitch and the back loop of the foundation stitch directly below. You're then going to work your single crochet, yarn over, pull through, pull through two loops on your hook. So there's your first single crochet stitch. You've worked through the top horizontal bar and that bottom horizontal bar. You're going to continue that all the way down. So you're working through both thicknesses. This is how it makes the stitch so thick. So into your next stitch, that back loop only, directly below, you find another horizontal bar for the stitch underneath, insert your hook under both, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. You're going to do it in the next stitch. You're going to continue this all the way across, always making sure that you're working into the horizontal bars, into those back loops uh, of the stitches directly under one another. Or in my case where I'm working uh, kind of with the vertical piece, the ones that are beside each other. So I have my back loop here, back loop there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. As you get the piece going, it's easier uh, to see those bars. You can turn your work fully like I'm doing now. And then if you take a look at the front of your work, that's what it's going to look like in the back. And it's quite thick. So we're going to continue working across back loop, back loop, single crochet, all the way across your work. I love the thickness of this stitch and how dense it is, but yet it still has that flexibility. So if you are looking for a warm stitch to make a blanket, this would be it. And you can really work with it in any weight of yarn of your choosing. So continue all the way across. Sorry for my dog barking in the background. There we are. When you come to your final stitch there, sometimes it's a little bit trickier to see, but just insert your hook just like so, yarn over, pull through, and complete the stitch. So that's what the work is going to look like on the front, and there's the back of it for you. You're going to chain one, and we're going to start again. We're now going to work the next row together. So again, you don't need to necessarily turn your work yet for that first one. If it's easier to keep it facing you, or again, I like to kind of turn it vertically so I can see it. And again, you're going to work into that back loop and then into the loop the, uh, directly below it inserting your hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And again, you're going to continue doing that all the way down your row. I will work a few stitches for you so you can see how the work here is progressing. 
But that's all there is really to working the single crochet thermal stitch. I will uh, mention because you are making this double thick, this will use up a little bit more yarn than if you were to simply work a single crochet stitch. It also does work up a little bit more slowly because it takes longer, of course, to get uh, to where you want to go. So just a couple of things to keep in mind as you're working this stitch. I'm almost through and then I'll take a step back and show you once again how the work is progressing. So that's the one side and there's the other. Now as you are working it you will uh, see that one side will kind of have uh, this double ridge. So when you are finished working you're going to want to seal it off. So go ahead and uh, work a few more rows as I'm going to do and then I'll show you how to work your final row. Okay, so I've worked just a few more rows here. Uh, you can see this is the top of my work. There's the back. It's quite thick. And uh, so now, say I've come to the end of my piece, and you can see that there are now these three horizontal bars here up at the top. We kind of want to close it together. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is going to be for the final row. We're going to chain one. If we were going to continue with a thermal stitch, we would continue working in these back loops, but we want to close it. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook under the top two, so under that top stitch, uh, first uh, the, those two horizontal bars, sorry, and then you're also going to insert it under the horizontal bar of the stitch in the row below. So you're going to insert your hook under three loops work your single crochet stitch and you're going to continue that all the way across so always inserting your hook under the top of the row just made and under that horizontal bar or the back loop of the stitch in the row below and then working your stitch you're going to continue that all the way across just like so and you can see that it's going to close the top of your fabric there for you. So that's all there is to working this thermal single crochet stitch. Thank you once again so much for joining me. Stay tuned next week uh, I will upload a video on how to crochet the double crochet thermal stitch and I look forward to seeing you again then. Happy crocheting! Bye!